In this video, I'm gonna give you an insanely quick and easy tip to improving the impressions of various pages. Now, as you can see, this article right here is a, it's a really, really well-performing article. Let me just show you just how well it's performing. And then I'll show you exactly what I did to use that to raise the authority and impressions of other pages. While that's loading, as you can see at the bottom here, these brands are linked. This actually gives an impression to each of these brands, okay? So I actually made a mistake with this. If you can see in the bottom left, there's no slash en after isuit.it. The other ones all have it, and it's something that I do need to change. So let's just quickly look at how well this article is performing. The clicks are crazy on this article. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it's almost it's almost 20% of the entire clicks of the website. 250,000 impressions. Let me just put the language in English, even though I really don't think it makes a difference personally. But let's just change IT to EN like that. And you can see, yeah, this article is doing very, very well. So what did I actually do to kind of improve this article? So if I open it up, what I did was I added this box right here. But when I added this box, I accidentally did something that actually helped a lot. So this was an improvement that I made to a previous article. Um, it was, I made the change. I'm not actually sure when I made the change, to be honest with you. But all I did was I just put the article in ChatGPT and I said, give me a table to add to this article. I also added FAQ because at the time, FAQs were considered to be good ranking factors. And I do want to talk a little bit about that as well. So there's a lot of talk about FAQs right now and how they're no longer being countered by Google. But I personally don't think that's true. And I still think it's a good place to add some keywords. So I added ultra wealthy here because I noticed on Search Console that ultra wealthy or ultra high end brands or ultra luxury brands was something that was ranking well, but it wasn't in the keywords on this article. So I added this. And then I thought, why don't I add a table as well? So I asked ChatGPT to make me a table. You could probably use Harper AI for this as well. Uh, you could just say something like, can you give me a markdown table summarizing this information, for example, and then it will give you a table. So I need to put it on page aware. Let's say that again. So yeah, you can see it's giving me a nice markdown table. Uh, if I copy this and then go down to mark, this is just a really easy way to improve your articles. For some reason that hasn't worked. Um, let's delete that, maybe it works, yeah. So it gives me a nice table here. And the really cool thing that ChatGPT did that um, unfortunately Harper AI hasn't done here, so I'd have to tell it to add internal links to the brands in the table. Let's see if it does that. It probably won't be able to do it properly because it doesn't know the uh, links. So yeah, basically you can add these yourselves where it says hashtag Kiton, you can put the link to Kiton, for example. And the end result is something like this, where these actually became clickable. This was an accident. I didn't mean to do this. Um, it just happened. And some of them don't even have the slash EN here because ChatGPT didn't add it. But the ones that do are, oh, okay, none of them are. None of them are the slash EN links, but that doesn't really matter. So what did this actually do? If I take Kiton, which is our most important page and I put it onto search console, let's have a little look what's happened because it's really, really interesting. You can see massive growth, but the queries are the interesting thing. Old money brands. Okay. That's super, super interesting because they come as site links. So they actually appear for the same keyword. So when you search this keyword on Google and you see these site links at the bottom, they're actually taking the links from that table. That's a super easy way to get some free impressions on your website and maybe even get some clicks to the most important pages on your website, which for us are the designers. This will also add authority to these pages and we are moving up the SERP for, for keywords like Kiton. So let's have a little look at that. And also Cesare Attalini, which are two super, super important uh, keywords. So let's do uh, exact query kit on and let's see what's happening. It's going very, very up and down right now. But the important thing is the average position. And then if we go to countries and let's go to most recent date, we can see in the United States, we are now 11.5. We were previously 58th. 
So if we can just push a little bit more and get onto the top page and then start moving up the top page, that is when we will really, really start to see some results from SEO. Okay, that's it guys. Just a quick video today. I wanted to quickly show this to people because I think this is a super, super easy way to improve the ranking of your overall website and to help spread that topical authority from your blogs to other pages on your website. Also, this table here is all of the information that Google needs. This will help you get featured snippets. This will help people stay on the page longer. And this is just generally something that you need to do for your website. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.